City councillors have been warned not to release details of the water pricing structure following a closed meeting with Allconnex next week. That's despite council CEO Dale Dixon admitting charges are set to rise by about 15 per cent as we revealed last night. Yesterday was meant to be D-Day for Allconnex, the day it was supposed to provide council with next year's price plan. But there was nothing, except a new promise. It would now be made public on March 25th, five days after All Connects briefs council on the prices in a closed meeting. Councillors were advised of the details of that meeting today in this email from the mayor, which also came with a warning. Any councillor who speaks out after the meeting will be breaching its code of conduct. What I find extraordinary is that our CEO can um, tell the public that he believes that the prices will go up 15 per cent, yet an elected representative isn't uh, able to stand up and tell the public where those prices are likely to be. Unit owners here at this Burley Heads business estate are just some of those anxiously waiting to hear the new charges. At the moment, the complex has already slugged $30,000 a year. Astronomical water cost for a one factory 95 square metres. Michelle and Russ Marks say they've been forced to sell their business, unable to cope with the increases. It's not only us, it's every small business is feeling it. Councillor Dawn Critchlow agrees. She says she's never seen business on the coast this bad. Extra water costs, extra electricity costs, the rent, it's not going down, it's going up. For these business owners, their message to council is simple. Fix this water problem because it's just gone absolutely Give small out of businesses a fair go. Yeah. They're not. Casey Devon, Nine Gold Coast News. Now the follow-up to our exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with Dale Dixon. Last night he defended Council's role on the issue of soaring water prices. Tonight we look at the future of Tipler's resort and Council's decision to build an administration centre at Rabina. It's a touchy subject, but Council's plan to transform Tiplers into an eco-friendly education facility are here to stay. But the boating community claims the public consultation period for the project was skewed, so our city's leaders can live out their green fantasy. I think that's extravagant language. Um, the reality is that the Council's made a decision in the long-term public interest. Clearly not everyone's needs have been considered. I think the days of the barefoot bar and, and uh, that sort of environment um, are all but over now. It might be controversial today, but I think we'll see the benefits of Tiplers as a location for families, for schools, for people that want an environmental experience. Mr Dixon admits Council's now lost the public relations war on the project and it could have been handled differently. The reality was that we had to take a decision to acquire Tiplers uh, in a bit of a hurry. Because of that, we weren't really in a position to explain that decision effectively at the time. It was a matter of taking the opportunity, buying the property and then dealing with, uh, I guess, the controversy that ensued. As for plans to build a brand new headquarters at Rabina. Critics call the project the Taj Mahal, but the CEO claims it's short-term pain for long-term gain. The financial benefit will be about $85 million plus. For now, Council's in debt to the tune of $187 million to kick off development. Good news for the coast's struggling construction industry, but it also means some local projects will end up on the back burner to balance the books. In borrowing for accommodation, that means that we don't necessarily borrow for other things that we might like to do. While there's talk, roads, draining and general maintenance of the city will suffer, Mr Dixon wouldn't provide details regarding what's been relegated to the bottom of the priority list. 